Yo, thanks. Welcome back. Uh, and here we go again. Here we go again, right? Okay, so you see what's up on the screen, man. We into the holiday season, so I had to jump into this story, man, about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's one of the worst stories I've ever heard. I don't see how this became a movie, cartoons. It, this is a terrible story. You should never have your kids exposed to these kind of people. And I'm going to break out to you why, okay? There's the poem, right? You see the poem over here, right? Okay, let's, let's, look, let's look at this line by line. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows now this is where it gets real in the streets right all of the under reindeer now let's remember that word all of the other reindeer they used to laugh and call him names now first of all now your whole north pole situation is a toxic environment right everybody picking on one person who the only thing wrong with them it's not even anything wrong you had a different nose. You were different, right? This is what they're telling. They're telling us a message. It's okay to pick on the one kid. It was okay. Nobody even did anything about it, right? It was fine. And they never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Discrimination, right? We're discriminated on you because you're different. And these people are supposed to be lecturing us about being naughty and nice. It's laughable. It is absolutely laughable, okay? But then, one foggy Christmas night, Christmas Eve, Santa, punk ass, came to say... Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you leave my sleigh tonight? So I'm like, Rudolph, have some self-respect, man. Tell that fat elf to go kick rocks, man. Don't come around because you need me. I was getting tormented by all these other reindeer and elves. You do nothing about it, St. Nick, right? You're already a terrible person. So I'm already questioning your motivations, all right? But then, how the reindeer loved him. As they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history as a sucker, right? As a straight dude that got played, man. You wanted acceptance so bad, you need to stand on your own feet, man. I know it's tough, but man, come on, man. You don't need to lower yourself to make these people happy. They weren't even they weren't even righteous enough to see one little kid reindeer and be like, yeah, you know what? You're different, man, but you're all right, man. We see something in your soul. We see something in your eyes, right? You're good. You got a good heart, Rudolph, but no. This, the North Pole, was about discrimination, right, and exclusion. And you guys thought this was a good story to go teach other kids, so they feel righteous about doing it. Ah, I could treat somebody bad, and then, you know, when I, I find a need for them, I'll just come to, oh, man, you're great, and everything will be cool. So I'm telling you, man, I'm standing up against this kind of nonsensical behavior, and, you know, we need to come up with a better story, man. It's time this Rudolph story get retired, man. This is my thoughts. I know some of you guys are going to like it. I love Rudolph, too, man. I love all the Christmas specials. But, man, come on. Let's look at the messaging that's really going on here. Peace.